not Oakley, not Shock, not Under Armour. This is the Amazon's Choice Football Visor. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lemon Football. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Amazon's Choice Football Visor, the visor Amazon recommends over everything else on the market. This is the Barnett Universal Football Eye Shield. Again, I'll have it linked below so you can check it out for yourself. Now on the surface, this thing doesn't actually look that bad. It has a nice thick plastic. It has reasonably small tabs at the top. The stickers actually come off relatively easy. The visor clips are a knockoff of the old school Oakley ones that when they first came out where you have basically a screw with a T-nut on the back. Not a lot of companies use these nowadays, but we do know that this is tried and true. Now beside all that, the real reason I think Amazon actually recommends this to you is gonna be the price. So in the US, this visor is 23 bucks on Amazon Prime right now, and it's 44 Canadian dollars on amazon.ca. Now Shock and Next Trend are around the $45 for a clear football visor, which means this is obviously a better deal than them, but the issue is also in Canada, some of the extra things that we have to pay. The first one is gonna be import fees. We have to pay every time something comes into the country, which is an add-on cost. We have to pay the exchange rate between US and Canada, which is around 30% right now. And then we also have to pay a really big shipping cost to get stuff here in at least one to two weeks. So I do understand why they picked this one up. Now, if you're completely new to football and you don't really understand why people wear visors, there's really a couple main reasons. Number one is it kind of helps protect your eyes and make sure, right, there's no fingers, nothing getting in your eyesight. The other thing is sometimes it does look really cool. So there's gonna be a little bit of a swag factor. And the third is gonna be turf pellets. Turf pellets is super common where when the, you go down, you fall on the ground, turf pellets come up in your eyes and it's really annoying. So, all right, now let's quickly break down everything about what makes this visor good and where it's really lacking. First off, we're gonna talk about installation. Now I understand why it's so cheap. So I installed this on my Riddell Speedflex, the most common helmet in football, and it really took a while. The first reason would be the thickness of the plastic. You can see that this visor is so much thicker than my Shox Zero G. It's a lot harder to get this in, bend it in place, and get it inside your helmet. The second reason would be the clips. These clips that they use are really cumbersome. The old school style is really hard to use with just like your fingers and take them on and off. So you will need a screwdriver for these clips. I found it really difficult to kind of massage the visor, get it into place, and install the clips all at one time with just one set of hands. The shape of the visor is also more of like a cone shape. I found it didn't contour great to the face mask. So the addition of trying to get this visor into place and then those screws just made it really tough to install. Now it did pop out of the helmet really easily, which is ideal because most times in a football game, you're always taking your visor off. You're never really putting one on in the middle of the football game. So that does kind of help. So yeah, it does take a while to get this visor on your helmet, but obviously you wouldn't be doing it in the game. You'd be doing it the night before or the practice before. And once it's on, it is in there really secure. But now just for comparison, because we are sponsored by Shock, I thought I would show you how long it takes to get my Shock Zero G in the helmet at the exact same time. And it obviously is a lot quicker and a lot easier to get in. All right, number two, let's talk about fit. How well does this fit inside a football helmet? Like I said, I test this with the most common helmet in football at all levels right now, my Riddell Speedflex. I even use my most open style face mask to give this thing this best chance of succeeding. And it fits okay. Now, some people do prefer this look of like the cone shape and the straight down over the bubbled look of like the Shocker and Oakley, and that's okay, that's your call. But the gap is pretty significant between the face mask and the visor, which is something I do worry about it moving around. Also, this visor does have a center tab on it, which means some helmets, if they do have the hook and loop style, like a lot of the Shocks have on their F7 and Vengeance, it will not fit on that helmet with this center tab. Yes, it is listed as a universal fit, but that means it's gonna fit everything, but fit nothing great. All right, next let's talk about durability. Now, obviously if you're getting a visor for like 22, 23 bucks, you're worried if it's gonna shatter on you. And I really don't think it would. It's just a polycarbonate, which is basically just a clear plastic material. They also did make it a little bit thicker than other visors. So maybe if they're not using the same quality materials, they kind of compensate it by making it a little bit thicker. So far, the kids that I've been watching wear these have been wearing them for four weeks now, practice and games, and they're all still fine. They also say it does have an anti fog and an anti-scratch coating on it. This scratch I can't really attest to because I've already marked it up a little bit on here so I don't know how much I believe that but with the fog coating and I can't really test that much either because it's not cold enough here yet for it to be visors fogging up. Now as far as features of this visor goes it does come in a couple different colors. They have a clear, a smoke, a black, they have like a green emerald and then they have like an orange iridium. They're all really nice but like I said the clear is the only one you can actually use in a game. All right recap. So it doesn't have the easiest installation, the best compatibility, the best style, or the best colors. And you will not see a single NFL or college player wearing this in practice or games. Boom, roasted. But they got everyone else beaten on two things, price and time to ship. So if you want a cheap visor that's at your door in two days, this is actually the option for you. Although if you do pick this up, you better be taking these stickers off because no one wants to see Barnett. Ah, oh, it ripped.